What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be fletching up some arrows, but not only that, we're gonna be fletching these arrows with the all new Whitetail Fit True Edge Wraps. Get that to focus. And the all new Whitetail Fit AAE Hybrid 26 Veins. So, these are a brand new vein that I'm offering on my website. Again, they're AAE Hybrid 26s and I have them available in nine different colors and the True Edge Arrow Wraps I have available in eight different colors. So I'll show you a little bit about why I call them the True Edge Arrow Wrap and a little bit more background on it and uh, then we'll get right into it and start fletching some arrows. Now the reason I have named these the Whitetail Fit True Edge Arrow Wrap is that we've got a True Edge indicator up top and a true edge indicator at the bottom where that black line is. So when you're fletching, again, these are the AAE Hybrid 26 veins. If you place the back of this vein at the furthest back indicator, the back of your vein to the throat of the knock will be one and one eighth inch. Now, if you fletch this vein to the furthest forward indicator, this bottom black line, you've now placed the vein at an inch and three eighths from the throat of the knock to the back of the vein. Myself, I like to fletch at an inch and an eighth, so I'm gonna be fletching all of my arrows with the vein right at the back end at that line. And uh, it's just a clean way to fletch them as well as a uh, consistent way to fletch them. As long as I'm putting that vein at the back of the line on every single turn, I know that my fletching is all in line and uh, we're good to go. So, I've got a dozen of these already fletched up. These are the Easton Axis 5mm. These specifically are the match grades. So we've got a dozen of these fletched up. Like I say, they're all 4 fletch AAE Hybrid 26s with the Whitetail Fit True Edge Arrow Wraps. Did the green veins and the white wraps. So that's kind of that color combination. Really like that setup. But I want to show you how I fletch these arrows and uh, I'm just going to use a bear shaft here and these are the Easton Axis. Um, I'm running the 300s. These are the Easton Axis Match Grade Pro Series. Um, the 300s in particular are 10.7 grains per inch. So anyway, that's just what I'm using on this setup. We'll get right into it and uh, show you how I get these arrows fletched. I don't know if you can hear it, but we've got some storms going on right now. I've got the windows open because it's nice and cool out. But uh, if you hear rain and or thunder, that's what we got going. So first, we're gonna start out. I like to use these AAE Max Clean Arrow Wipes. Um, just grab you one of these arrow wipes. If you don't have these arrow wipes, that is okay. You can just use a regular alcohol wipe. Grab your bear shaft, grab that Max Clean towel, wipe down the back of your arrow shaft, give that a little bit of time to dry, but what that does is just ensure adhesion between your arrow wrap and the shaft itself. So let that dry. Next thing you wanna do is grab something flat like a book or something like that, a notepad. I like to use a mouse pad. So this is just a mouse pad for your computer. Go ahead and pull yourself off one of these arrow wraps. Make sure that you put the head of the whitetail towards the end by the knock. So you'll lay this down flat on that pad like this. Just like that. And then I like to pull the knock out of the end of the arrow shaft. You can do that just by pulling, kind of twisting and pull that knock out. And then that way you've got a nice flat edge to bring up to this arrow wrap. So all I do is bring the edge of that with the edge of the wrap, kind of eyeball it, line it up, and then I push this whole shaft forward into the arrow wrap until the arrow wrap starts sliding on that mouse pad. Once that starts sliding like that, I give it about a quarter turn then I'll run my finger on the back side, ensure that's all adhered really well, and then just push down on it. Start rolling that arrow wrap on. Should go on nice and straight. Just like that. 
Got her on there, good to go. Now I will uh, pop my knock back in. Just like that. Got that arrow wrap on there, knocks back on there, and I'm gonna get it loaded in my fletching jig. Okay, now that I've got my arrow wrap set, I'll get my fletching jig preset. Uh, before you ever start gluing these veins on, make sure you get your fletching jig preset, whether you're doing a three fletch, a four fletch, however you wanna do it. Um, this is the Bitsenberger jig. I really, really like this jig. Uh, I've been fletching arrows with it for years now. So I'm gonna put this arrow shaft in there, just like that. And then I like to turn the knock with the starting point to have the edge of the wrap basically start with the first vein. So you're putting the first vein just on the inside of that edge. So I like to turn that right about like that. Go ahead and load your first vein. Put this in here. Check your alignment with your true edge before you ever glue it down. Just make sure you check your alignment, just like that. And then take note on your fletching jig where that alignment is. Double check that. Right on the true edge. We're good to go, we're gonna start gluing. So. I like to use this AAE Max Bond glue. Um, this will be available on my website along with all of the fletching and all of the arrow wraps. So you can just buy everything you need as a package in order to get everything set up. So we're gonna take the vein that's been loaded. And we're just gonna drop about eight or 10 drops on the back end of that vein, real small drops. And then I like to use the tip of the uh, bottle and just make one swipe down the middle just to kind of even all of that glue out on the edge of that vein. So we've got everything loaded in the jig. We've got the vein loaded in the clamp. And now we're just gonna glue that first vein on. Seat it with the back of the clamp. Press it down until you see glue. Just barely come out of both ends of that fletching. That tells you you've got the perfect amount of glue. You let that set for about 15, 20 seconds and then pull the clamp off and move on to the next vein. There you have it. Pull that arrow off and then I like to just dab the end of the vein with just a little bit of glue front and back. That's it, it's finished up. We got another one for the pile. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I think I covered just about everything I needed to with the new Whitetail Fit True Edge Arrow Wraps and the Whitetail Fit AAE Hybrid 26 Veins. Everything that I've got here is just of that next level standard of high quality uh, materials and craftsmanship. I'm just, I'm super, super proud of this setup. If you're not familiar with AAE, it stands for Arizona Archery Enterprises and they are one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, vein manufacturer in the country. They have extremely high quality stuff. I've been shooting their veins for eight years now and I've been nothing but impressed with their veins. That is why I chose AAE to do my custom veins and uh, they're extremely durable. They've always held up for me. Um, no complaints whatsoever with these veins. And that also goes for my arrow wraps. These were custom arrow wraps that I had made. I went through four different revisions of arrow wraps before I fell on this lineup. And guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am with this setup. Um, they're extremely durable, high quality print. 
Um, the adhesion is amazing. I just, I've had no problems with them. I've put them through some serious testing before I ever decided to release them to you guys, the public, and uh, I stand behind them. I'm super proud of them, and just this whole kit, I just, I'm so happy with it, guys. Like I say, you can get the glue on my website, the Max Bond glue. You can get the veins on my website, the AAE Hybrid 26s. You can get the True Edge Aero Wraps on my website. Eight different colors, nine different colors for the veins. Um, and yeah, it's just, I'm super happy with this setup. And like I say, if you guys wanna help support the brand, this is a great way to help support the brand. You can get this stuff at whitetailfit.com along with a t-shirt, a hat, whatever you might want, um, it's all up there. So anyway, go check it out guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Please remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.